Welcome back to Soundbites Cases. This is Phil Pereira, and in this module we'll discuss cannulation of the axillary vein using ultrasound guidance. So why you might ask would I want to use ultrasound to cannulate the axillary vein? Well, in effect, the axillary vein is an alternative approach to cannulation of the subclavian vein on the chest wall. The axillary vein is a continuation of the brachial vein onto the chest wall and becomes a subclavian vein as it passes medially under the first rib. The axillary vein can be well visualized using ultrasound at this lateral position on the chest wall, and that's in contrast to the subclavian vein, where the presence of the bony clavicle makes imaging of the infraclavicular portion of the subclavian vein difficult. So in effect, this is a lateral puncture of the subclavian vein really into the axillary vein if you're going to use the right anatomical terminology. Ultrasound guidance of axillary vein cannulation is now well documented in the medical literature, although many clinicians remain unaware that ultrasound can be integrated into this approach. Two studies document utility of ultrasound guidance for axillary vein cannulation with a decreased complication rate, and the studies are shown below, the first in 2004 and the more recent in 2012 both from our colleagues in Great Britain. In 2011, the CDC came out with some guidelines for the prevention of intravascular catheter-related infections. Their recommendations included using a subclavian vein site, if possible, rather than internal jugular vein or femoral vein sites, in adult patients to minimize the risk of infection with a non-tunneled catheter. They did say to avoid the subclavian site in hemodialysis and advanced kidney disease patients to decrease 